Skid Row, Monkey Business, CBT guitar lesson for Alan. Alan, you picked a good one. I think uh, I knew this was coming. I think you mentioned this a few months back. But, um, wow, it's a great song, man. Probably the most, in, one of your in, most in-your-face driving Skid Row songs. This is tuned standard. We start out on the clean channel. And um, it's, Skid Row did a lot of power chords that were inverted. In other words, not necessarily visually, but note-wise. So, like... That whole intro, instead of instead of playing the root on the top, it's on the bottom. So, pretty cool. Three or second fret A and D slide to four, and then go on the D and G string twos and fours. So, and then we're gonna go back to the twos, but this time hammer three G, pull two G, and then on the A D four two four, rest and then kind of slide it. You do that three times, don't slide the, the third one at the end. So you have... Instead, go 2DG, slide to 4, a little vibrato. Softly you can hear like a, a open A to 2AD with vibrato. Um, so... You'll do that on your intro, and then 35 seconds in, you go into the uh, the heavy part, and they kind of do the slide in, you know, open E palm mute to 14 E slide, that type of thing. And then, but the hook is this. And I was watching that one guy, I was going to use his live playthrough, but he was missing a few parts, and one of them was this, watch. 2DG, and then the, most of the rest of this is A and D string. 4-2-3-4, um, four, four, so... Back to twos, so... Right here. It's palm muted, alternate picked, 4-3-4. Four, four. And I'm seeing people go... 424, four. it's not, it's 434. Four. Not a big deal because it sounds cool either way, but. Right back to the 2DG. Um, and then AD string. 4, 2, 3, 4. And then 2AD, it's a quick palm mutes down up. And then a trill. You'll go. Which is 2 on the D string, hammer 4. And it's just a series of trills three times. And that leads you into your third one. That's the same as the first one. So we got three subgroups in the mix. Let me back out a little more until we get to the solo. Um, the first and third are the same because they're doing the... Except this end. You'll go... You'll go. Damn, hold on here. What is going on? Yeah. That part. Um, hold up here. I can't find it in your tabs. Hello, where's this at? We have... And then... So, pinch harmonic, fourth fret D, quick rest, and then palm mute alternate pick, 4, 2, D, 4, 3, 2, A, 5, 2, E, it's the sixth note minor pentatonic. So, into 4, D, G, to 2, A, D, instead of going, is that what I mean about the inverted power chords? Alright, so, and that's one time through. 
Leading into section three, 46 seconds in, it's got a good shuffle groove, it goes. Oops. Palm mute, alternate pick on the A and D string, 4242. And then 2DG, that's got a rest in it. No palm mute on that, so. One E into two, the two count. Then right back to 4242 AD. 4D and G. You're going to bend release. And then 2DG. So. And you can bend it down, Alan, or you can bend it up. I like the feel of the up with these doubles. And then you go. Uh, uh, like the first one and then um, hold on so the very first one was this then you go oops it ends with two three four happening there double dots go back um, and start it over up to there then you'll see a star instead of uh, the star section you go it'll go uh, the 4 AD so in other words Oops. So the four A D string mute it's basically top like hit like four strings down up down up down and then upstroke to two A D. So kind of accents and grooves with the drums. Um, and then you'll see section two on your 55 second repeat from the double dot, so you don't have to go. You can take that out, but it's just the. That whole vibe. Um, no, uh, no star though, so in that second one, it'll be a 7 9 instead of. It's the only difference. And you do that whole groove four times. Next new part is section four, a minute ten into the song. It goes. Two A four D, strum 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 E. So, second fret D and G. That's an A power chord inverted. So, this part's cool. Open E, hammer onto the second fret, and then down up, palm mute the root, which is second fret. Second fret D. And then palm mute 2 2 2. Low E, up, down, up, and do that twice. Repeat it all. And then top of page three, 2A, 4D, and G. Or you can just do the A and D, but go. Strum, 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 E. Just, just a ascending, descending slide on the E. And then you'll go. 4, 6, A, D. Staccato, so you gotta break it here. Same thing on the 3, 5. And then the 2, 4, let it ring. So it's. Open A, 2, D. Go down. Down, down, up, B. So, oops. 
to an E. So. And then you'll throw in these accents. Fourth fret A and D, three times staccato. So you have. Okay, 3A, pull off to 2 open, 2 pull open, and on the low E, 2 pull open. So we have. Alright, cool. And a um, bunch of the repeats till you get to uh, really the next new part, Alan, is because there's some altered pieces of sections, but um, they're basically like parts you've already done. Section 5, 237, it's the clean um, kind of breakdown before the solo. It's real funky, it's cool. It's hard to hear at first, it gets a little louder as the song progresses, but it's a... Uh, Let's see. Open E, hammer to two, and then down up on that two. Four A, pull off to two, and then two A and D, down up. That is a little subgroup, which uh, would sound like this. Up to tempo. And then. Four D, pull off to two, and then four A, and then open A, hammer four, and hold it down and go two D and G, down up. Let's do that or like, but I think it's this funky, and then start it over basically on that first subgroup and the different little ending. Four G and B, bend release, pull off to two. And I use three fingers for this stuff. And then four pull twos. And then four pull two on the D. So most of that's two strings. And if you haven't done a lot of stuff like that, it's it's tough. I know from teaching my um, private students over the years, decades at this point, but stuff like that always seem to give people a hard time. Getting the volume, making sure that the string don't slip out when you're bending it, all that stuff. I've heard you play. Thank you, by the way, for sending the video. It, it did help me totally, and you will you will be able to do this. And then um, you'll see uh, double dots, two times, second time, no star. Instead, there's like a what I'm calling an A filler. So you'll end up going right here. In the place of this, we're going to go 2D slide to 4, 4B, let it ring, it's kind of hard to hear, and then 4D slide to 2, let it ring as you play the 2D, and then um, you're going to repeat it, so you have, and then 2D uh, and B. marker right before those last two okay and then um, the solo man that's, that's what we got to work on now and um, it's cool oh wait there's another filler dude um, you'll repeat all the with a with the um, so we had an a fill and then a B fill the next time because you have to repeat all that again and that fill is 4D slide to 5, or 4G slide to 5, hold as you play 5B, and then go 5-2-4-2 two, two on the G. So, so you have... That's actually... And then 4-2-D. A series of trills on the G, twos and threes, 
and then 4-2 on the D and the A, down up, down up. So. And like I said, it's not really uh, in your face loud. And then uh, you go back, repeat all that again. This time, section five says no fill. And in place of a fill in, it's just a chord build up off a of F sharp five power chord. Two E, four A. You're gonna go 16 times, build it up, palm mute the first half. Or. As long as you're getting 16 in there. Um, solo 307 time stamp 14, or four on the G, bend, release and then slow bend. And then 2G vibrato. Uh, down up down on the D string, 424, four, with a pinch harmonic on the end. And then, this is tough to hear as well, and then they boost it in the studio. 42D, 4A. And then 2G, 4D vibrato, so it's... Three ten timestamp pinch harmonic four G bend release pull off to two palm mute four D and then two G four G bend. <laughs> 